All right, let's get into this. <laughs> Welcome to Round the Bases Roundup. My name is Jordan. How's it going, Pookie? You know, living the dream. No. No, you have to wear a mask. <laughs> Anyways, um, some things have happened since we last did one of these. Um, players reported last Wednesday. Um, they got tested then. Practices started on Friday. Um, not all the tests worked out though, as we know, right? Yes. Um, the A's, the Nationals, I think the Astros, a bunch of teams had problems with their testing. I think the Cubs as well. Uh, Chris Bryant of the Cubs was saying that there had been guys that have been there for like nine days because they showed up early and they only been tested once and then not again. Uh, the A's did all their tests um, and as of yesterday, all the tests were still in San Francisco and not in the lab in Utah. So it's five days of just sitting there. Cool. So, figure your shit out or this ain't going to work. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, schedules are out. That happened last night. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, go look at your favorite team schedule. I'm not going to break down every schedule here. No, it's too much. Um, the Reds, though, got a really, really good draw. They play the Tigers six times in the first ten games. The Tigers lost 114 games last year. Ooh. Well, it's looking good for them. Uh, and here's this, just to start off on a, on a nice note here. No, I didn't want you to do that. There you go. That's Nick Castellanos. This is the last pitch of bra- batting practice yesterday. That's the kind of attitude I want to see all year. You pimp that home run. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. So that's all well and good. There's there's stuff happening with Major League Baseball. That's good. Go check out what's happening with your team around the league. What we're going to talk about today is Minor League Baseball. All these stop. Oh, 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 that, okay, cool. <laughs> so, this was back in November. A plan got kind of leaked out that Major League Baseball wanted to eliminate 42 Minor League Baseball teams. Why? Exactly. Um, Money. But they didn't say money. But the real reason is money. So, they said... That, okay, let me take it back further, actually. I should have had this article up, but I didn't. So, back in September, I read an article, 538 by Travis Sachik. Um, Let me just find it. How about that? I think it was called, Do We Need the Minor Leagues? There we go. September 9th, Travis Sajic, 538. Do we even need minor league baseball? Silly title, but it was very interesting. Um, basically, it proposes a system of we don't need to really just throw guys out in games to get the development that they need. 
we have the technology now to get them to where they need to be. It's like super high speed, high frame rate cameras, right? We can track a player's hand like, oh, you're flicking your wrist too hard. You're change your grip, move your finger over half an inch and that'll be the right grip. Shit like that, right? Yeah. And then a guy goes, does that, throws like, you know, three pitches. Oh, see how that's working? Oh, yeah, that's much better. We don't need to do a full game of like, oh, what <laughs> went wrong here? So that was kind of the idea behind that. It was like, it's kind of an interesting, far off future thing, I thought. Right? Yeah. But we can just play, we spend like the week working on that play a game on like a Saturday to put it on the field this is similar to how they develop players in European soccer leagues they just train at an academy hardly play any games then they finally get into the games and they're like amazing so why not with baseball right kind of work smarter not harder so i was like okay that's an interesting idea and then like two months later this comes out right um the underlying professional baseball agreement that codifies the working arrangement between major league baseball and minor league teams expires after this season right now back in october blah blah, blah we don't care about that okay so they're only 42 teams, 28 of the 42 teams are in either rookie level or short season class A. So some teams have like one rookie team. Short season class A is basically rookie. They say they play the same schedule and the talent level is about the same. It's a rookie level. It is a tiny step higher, right? Um, the Appalachian League here, I think eight of the teams are owned by Major League Baseball teams completely. So it's easy to just get rid of those, right? Um, so, yeah. Some teams have, like, three rookie level teams. Some teams have, like, one. So part of the reason they say is, like, we want to level up the playing field. But it's like, it's their choice how many teams they want to have. Yeah. Okay. Um, they also said safety. They said certain facilities weren't up to par, so we're just going to eliminate those. It's like, can you give them a chance to improve? They're like really set on this number of 42. So... Basically going through, saying uh, different owners of minor league teams weighing in. And the minor league owners are not saints. They move their teams around, take it away from a community if they get a better deal somewhere else. So they're not like older than thou at all, but they ain't rolling in the cash like major league owners. The only reason they can make it work is because they have the PDC, the player development contract with Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball pays the players and the coaches. So all the minor league players, all the minor league owners have to do is the stadium. And then they get the gate revenue. And they're struggling with COVID right now. We'll get to that in a second, though. Blah, blah, blah. Congress chimes in. Their plan for some of these teams is to make a dream league for the guys that don't make it. You go in there. It'd be like independent. It's just an independent league. But you know how hard it is to make that money work in an independent league? Yeah. Because they have to do everything that the minor league owners already do and pay the players. It's just 
Like, they're barely making money as it is. So, there's that. So, the last quote is kind of sad now. Uh, it's never going to go through. Minor League Baseball is never going to agree to have 42 teams contracted in the most arbitrary and capricious way. This is uh, a minor league owner saying this. They can't proceed without our acquiescence. Well, um, here you go. This is April. They are prepared to agree to Major League Baseball's proposal to cut guaranteed affiliations from 160 to 120. So there you go. They agreed. Damn. Because of COVID. Because all these teams are, they're like strongly united, all of them together. COVID hit. So many of them are hemorrhaging money. Something's got to give, right? So they're all like, we got buddy up with Major League Baseball to save our teams. Now, here's the old list. There you go. Cut this off. There you go. I'm just going to scroll through really quick. Just so you know. Um, this list is now changing because some teams, some of these teams worked to improve their facilities. So the players could be safer. It'd be a nicer image, all that. But then the teams that are now going to be on the list... They're getting screwed over because they didn't know they would be on the list now. It's all just very just haphazard. Whatever. Just get rid of some teams. I saw someone do the math one time of the salary for a rookie level team. And it's like $600,000. And that's barely more than a minimum salary major league player. It's like, you're worried about that. That's like nothing to a major league owner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, there's that. Yeah. Another thing they would do is, once you eliminate all these teams, you would change the leagues around and make it more compact to reduce travel which okay that's smart it's fine to think about things like that the wear and tear on the players right yeah but to just uh, like these teams won't survive in a dream league or in an independent league a lot of them won't um and you just think about like, it's so much easier to get a family of four to go to a minor league team. Watch a game. Little Timmy sees the game. It's like, Mommy, Daddy, I want to do that. Oh, you want? Okay. We'll, we'll get you. We'll get you in baseball. How many of those, how many kids now will not have that experience and won't start playing baseball? Those are playing soccer. They'll start playing basketball. Right? Yeah. So, how much of your talent level is going to drop now? In right. 20 years, for right. sure. But, um, another thing that's helping them along, well, still COVID, but another aspect of COVID, because they cut the draft down. What the, uh, this one? They cut the draft down, as we know, five rounds this year, and they're down to up to it's up to twenty next year. We don't know. They could change that. The signing bonuses of undrafted players will be capped at twenty thousand. So now it's like, well, we don't have enough players to field multiple rookie teams. It's like, yeah, because of you. You did that. 
right? Um, and then that's got to fuck up college baseball. Because say you're a high school kid that has the talent to get drafted in the sixth round and maybe would have signed for that amount of money. Well, now it's like, well, I'm not going to sign for $20,000. So now you're going to college and taking a spot from a guy who didn't have that opportunity, probably taking a scholarship from a guy. Yeah. And NCAA, um, they granted all seniors an additional year of eligibility, but they're not able to uh, have a scholarship. So I was like, if you can pay your way tuition-wise for another year, you can come back and play baseball. Mm. If you don't want to sign for $20,000. Because that's who's getting screwed over, the college seniors. Like, they don't have a choice. It's like, I guess I have to sign for 20000 or nothing. Right. I guess they could go to, like, Japan. Maybe. Maybe Japan would give them some more money. I don't know. It's all very wishy-washy. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the fuckery going on with the minor leagues. All right. That's all I got. (laughs) It's just something we need to highlight because honestly, this is might be the biggest story in baseball, but no one's talking about it. Yeah. Because this is this is the future of baseball. It's going to fundamentally change everything. But no one cares because they don't care about Podunksville Alley Cats, you know. That's not my team. I don't. It's just a rookie team. Who cares? Like one of those guys could have made it big. Yeah. And you're just getting rid of that because you want to save a little bit of coin. Obviously, you gotta cut it off somewhere. You can't have like every team have twenty rookie affiliates and just have every baseball player and his brother. Right. Swinging away or pitching away, maybe they'll make it. It's just all very arbitrary the way they're doing it, though. So, anyways, yeah, <laughs> yeah very uh, low energy video today. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wash your hands, be mm. safe. Wear a mask if you live in Montgomery and Butler County. Uh, Maybe just wear a mask anyways. Sure. Do what you think will help. (laughs) Because at this point, we keep getting contradictory information, so just do whatever feels right. Okay. Bye. (laughs) Bye, y'all.